Winners see risk as opportunity. They see the rewards of success in advance, and they don't see the penalties of failure. The innervating powers of fear are unfortunate because individuals dominated by fear, they can't act with choice or positive intent. They go through life reacting and defensive. People who are dominated by stress are unable to change the world they live in. The world they live in alters them. It's a strange and sobering fact that the thing we fear most, we ourselves bring to pass. Many years ago, the English essayist James Allen wrote, They who have conquered doubt and fears have conquered failure. Their every thought is allied with power, and all difficulties are bravely met and wisely overcome. Burning desire is the perfect mental antidote for fear and despair. Desire sparks activity, which burns up excessive adrenaline in the system. It keeps the mind busy and the hope of achievement alive. Inactivity breeds despondency. It brings forth dark imaginings and distorts situations, all out of proportion to reality. When fear begins to beg for attention, the winner gets busy and things gain their proper perspective again. After decades of search and study, we now know that high achievers in life have a high degree of self-motivation. The enduring power that moves them to action comes from inside themselves. So success in life is not reserved for the talented. It's not in a high IQ and not in the gifted birth. And it's not always in ability or the best equipment. Success is almost totally dependent upon drive and persistence the extra energy required to make another effort, to try another approach, to take a new tack. That's the secret of winning. Out of adversity is the call to greatness. Out of luxury sometimes is the lull of apathy. Out of need springs desire, and out of desire the energy and the will to win. We need to really learn and remember how to develop this winning action quality of positive self-motivation.